Harmonies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Symphony. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial and review with swatches with the new Urban Decay Naked Palette by Robin Ensenberg. As you can see, I created this really easy and beautiful look with using all of these colors. We don't got time to be playing games using only two or three colors from this beautiful palette. Like, no, we're gonna use all of these or most of these. I am going to be swatching them first on camera for you guys before I get started with this makeup tutorial. I do wanna read the description of this product. It is vegan, long wearing, cruelty free, shimmer finish with a matte finish. An extraterrestrial palette that combines pigmented Martian mattes with meteor shower shimmers, perfect for cosmic makeup looks. And as you can see, I am matching the theme perfectly. Maybe a little bit more modern, but overall, like I match it with the silvers and the glitz and the glam. This is how the palette looks. I really love how it has the two girls right here. And it says Naked with Urban and K, Robin and Sinberg. It comes with the mirror and a double-sided makeup brush but i believe all their naked palettes come with a brush the names of this palette is moon sand solar storm pulsar ion mango sun exo planet fox fire holidays home planet ice crater alien babe and space pod moon sand just looks like this i'm going to be swatching it right here okay it just looks like that you probably can't even see it but it's right there i'm gonna do double swatches with these yeah, okay. Yep, moon sand. Solar storm with one swatch. And then here's the second swatch. Moon sand and solar storm. Ion is definitely a shimmer shade. I only needed to do one swatch with that. So it's a really nice golden yellow color. We have another matte, which is mango sun. That's one swatch with that one. It's really pigmented. Now we have EXO planet. This one was one swatch. This one is so pretty and it's so shimmery. We have Foxfire, which is one swatch. And oh my gosh, this is so pigmented. Holidays. Ooh. Y'all see that? Oh my gosh. This one is so shimmery and it's so pretty. It's like a um pink mixed with burgundy. We have Home Planet, which is a matte shade. That's one swatch, and this is how it is with two swatches. Nice and pigmented, as it should be, because this palette does retail for $54 or somewhere like under $55. Ice Crater, it's not that pigmented, but once we double it up, it looks more pigmented. Alien Babe right here, I'm going to swatch it on this side. Oh, this one is so pretty. Here again. That's a double swatch with this one. This one is so gorgeous. Ooh, this one is so pigmented. It's so pretty. Ooh, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. It's like a blue mixed with black mixed with purple. And this one is called Space Pod. And everything that I'm mentioning in this video will be listed down below. But with that being said, let's get started with this makeup tutorial. a Laneige lip mask because you guys know this works so good. I'm gonna let that sit on while I do my eyes. I'm gonna actually zoom you guys more closer. This is what the palette looks like. These are the colors I'm going to be using. These are so, so pretty. I really want to thank Urban Decay for sending me this palette. Like, it truly means a lot to me. And they didn't also just send me this palette. Their eyeshadow primer potion with this palette. So I am going to be using this first. You guys know this was like so popping back then. Like, it's still popping now. But this was like really, really popping back then. This is just their original kind. Since the weather is really dry outside, you really want to make sure that you have your eyelids moisturized with the eye cream. The eye cream that I used was the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Eye Cream. And I apply that when I did my skincare and everything. But yeah, I'm just going to add maybe 
this much so the eyeshadow can stay on all day so not that much taking my next jumbo eye pencil in the color milk and this is literally one of the best bases for the eye if you really want a color to pop out and most of these colors that i'm using are cool tones so i really want them to pop out more so i'm gonna take about this much maybe add another layer blend it out with the warmth of my finger i'm going to be taking my best taupe makeup brush i got this off of amazon it came in a pack of 16 and there were only 16 or under 10 dollars like super like beyond affordable and these work really good like they're high quality i definitely recommend these i'm going to be taking foxfire and it's this I don't want to say it's red, but it's like a red mixed with burgundy color. And with this type of brush, it's like flat but very blendable at the same time. Let me know if you know the proper name for this brush. It's like a flat, fluffy brush. Taking this much, tap off the excess, and just kind of put it up like this. And you just want to pat it in, not swipe because it's not going to really settle in like that if you do that. So you want to pat, 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 pat. But yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite brushes to use. It works so good. I'm going to be taking my Coastal Sense brush and I'm going to be using Moon Sand. And it's just this really creamy color right here. Put it all over, like underneath. Um, it was called Firefox. I said Firefox. <laughs> Remember Firefox? That was a really good browser to use back then. But no, it's Fox Fire. Using this color is just gonna set the white base that we used. And it's also gonna intensify moon sand. Next, we're going to do this step right here, and it's kind of like a smoky winged eyeliner. I was planning to do black eyeliner, but I really wanted like a, you know, really just focus it on all of these eyeshadows and not add too many extra steps, like how I added the NYX. So I'm taking this mange brush that I got from Amazon. It came in a pack as well, but I really love how this brush looks. It's really easy to do an eyeshadow winged eyeliner with this. Not too flat, and it is a pretty thick eyeliner type of brush and this was also super affordable this was like probably 15 dollars like for the whole pack like with different brushes i'm going to be taking home planet which is this baby blue right here like a cool tone baby blue but it also has like like a hint of like lavender in a way like a hint of it and we really want to start no i cannot start this without adding tape oh my gosh just take any type of tape you have just put it in the corner uh, like this. It looks so good and now I'm just gonna rip it off because I just needed the tape as a little guide. I'm going to be taking another mange brush and it just looks like this. It's like a smudger brush or something and just kind of like smudge it out. With the brush that we use for this eyeshadow winged eyeliner, we're just going to wet it and we're going to use some setting spray. You can use some water. I'm just going to wet it because we're now gonna jump onto the shimmery eyeshadows which are these at the end right here i am going to be using all three of these because these colors are so pretty these three right here which is ice crater alien babe and space pod ice crater alien babe space pod this eyeshadow does give a little bit of fallout definitely recommend you guys using this palette before you beat your face and as you can see it gives like more of a intense type of wing but it smokes out with the home planet color this palette is so different out of my comfort zone 
but I'm so happy that I'm able to do a makeup look like this. Oh, I just did something. Okay, so with Space Pod, which is that last eyeshadow color right here, I'm gonna take this brush, go back to Home Planet, smoke it out. You guys see that? It looks more faded. Take Ice Crater, put that in the corner too. Ooh, looking better than the other eye. I really need to fix the other eye. I'm going back in with Moon Sand and just add more of a brightness in the center of my eye. More brightness. It's giving Space Gal. We're going to be taking this brush from Mange. We're going to be taking EXO Planet and then Holidays these two colors next to firefox box fire not firefox box fire i already have a name for this look but i'll let you guys know towards the end because it's really giving that for real take it like this because we really want to use these sparkly colors like these are too pretty not to be used like, oh no <sighs> i put too much ah ah one in my eye See, we kind of did like that with it, but I'm just tapping it on first before I do a little bit of blending. Next, I'm taking my Duo Fiber Blending Brush from Beauty Junkies. I got this brush from Amazon as well, but I love using this brush for diffusing eyeshadow looks, especially if it's looking too harsh up here. I'm going to be taking Solar Storm, which is this color. Take a little bit of that, tap off the excess, and kind of like diffuse use it out so it can look more gradient instead of like harsh i went back and fixed my eyeshadow a little bit more and i may have to fix it up more once i do my actual face because i feel like i'm missing something but now i'm going to be using polisar it's just this peachy color right here i think i'm going to use this same mange brush it's a really good brush add it in the inner corner that looks way better oh my gosh what your brushes when it comes to the sparkly glittery eyeshadows because it makes the shadows pop even more I be forgetting that sometimes i'm so used to mattes but now we're gonna jump on into the face which is one of my favorite parts because i really feel like i do my face really well like i'm so used to beating my face all the time i use the cerave pm facial moisturizing lotion it has niacinamide and hyaluronic acid I do need to wipe off the fallout can't just apply my foundation or anything to the fallout then it's just gonna look weird on my face care if it's spring summer fall winter out of this world we still need to apply sunscreen and i'm going to be using the black girl sunscreen it doesn't give any flashback and it's really good for our skin for the primer i'm going to be using in this video is just a sample size of the tasha is it tasha tasha the liquid silk canvas primer mm, this makes me feel expensive it smells very bougie i really love this oh my gosh it gives my skin a really nice silky finish and i still have my glow on top of that it's really nice now we're gonna color correct the la girl pro conceal highly recommend using this if you guys suffer with like my type of skin you guys know i love using my nars natural radiant foundation and i'm going to be mixing vanuru which is the new color that i got and strombali vanuru is a little bit like a little bit too dark like if i was in some sun it would be just right like just a little bit of sun and it'll be just right to 
be taking my Paw Paw Wonder sponge. I got this from Amazon. It came in a pack of six and it was only under $10 and these work so good. And I don't have the beauty blender, but I heard these are just like the beauty blender or better. So I'm gonna blend that out. Now I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. Camel Concealer and this is in the shade Light Beige. I really like a bright under eye. I'm taking my Wet n Wild Contour Stick in the shade Where's Walnut. My all time favorite contour stick and it's like only under $5. Taking my e.l.f. Complexion Duo Brush, going to be using this side for my nose and this side for the face. I'm going to be taking my Locks In Makeup Setting Spray from AOA Studio. only have a little bit left. I'm going to cover my eyes too because I don't want to mess up the eye makeup. So I blend that out it's looking way better and now I'm going to be taking my she glam liquid blush in the shade risky business and it's just a like a dark type of blush I was planning to like a lighter type of color but mm -hmm, for this eye look since this part is kind of dark I think I should do the blush a little bit dark I'm taking my mini duo fiber stippling brush to blend that out I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I have a little bit left. I just want to use it all up so I can buy another one. I'm going to take this. You can get these on Amazon or Shein. Then taking my Maybelline Fit Me Loose powder in the shade Light Medium. I'm going to be taking my Juvia's Place bronzed palette and this is in the shade tan. I'll just take these and just pat it like this. Oh, this is so pretty. And just blend it all over. I really love a bronzy forehead. It gives me a nice sun-kissed look even though it's not even summer at all. But I really love having a bronzy forehead. Don't forget to do your ears, guys. And do a little bit of your neck. I'm gonna take my pro setting brush from Beauty Junkies and blend out that line. wipe this off and look it gave me more of a bright under eye that's why I definitely prefer baking taking my bare minerals bounce and blur mob sunrise blush and i think it'll match really good with the eyeshadow take that much yeah it matches it's not too bright i'm just taking ice crater and space pod and just mixing these two up and kind of do a gradient effect right here. I'm going back in with Pulsar right here and just apply it in the inner corner again. 
on this side i did add a little bit more eyeshadow and blend it out the um winged eyeshadow a little bit more further over here and it just looks way better like the little technique that i did so now i'm gonna have to do this one and the eyeshadow that i used right here and a little bit of the inner corner was the shade ion and this was the last shade that i used in this palette because i literally use well we literally use if you're following through we used all of these colors we use this in the middle we use this over here up top and in our corner then in the corner again and up here wait we didn't use mango sun yet i might add mango sun somewhere we did use exo explosion and foxfire holidays home planet ice crater alien babe and space pod i'm just gonna go back in with the aoa studio locks and makeup just to retouch my face to give it a little bit more moisturization and i do want to add some highlights and it's gonna really make my highlight pop since the eyeshadows pop in so i think i'm done with the eyeshadow for now possibly most likely i'm gonna take my real technique setting brush and i'm going to be using this laura geller dripping in gold illuminator palette it was from like 2020 i believe no or 2019 yeah i think it was from 2019 i got this at kohl's and i'm not sure if you can get this anywhere but you can definitely get similar colors to these but i really want to use this because i haven't used this in a while i am going to be wetting my brush a little bit sunbeams and champagne toast which are these two highlight colors right here oh this is Oh, this is intense. I really like this. And I'm gonna put some on this side too. Put some on my forehead, chin. I'm gonna put some on the tip of my nose and on the bridge. So as you can see, I got my top on and it's just this like disco like top. Then I got my Chanel earrings on it's really giving space i'm gonna take my nyx lift and snatch brow pen and i was just filling in the little areas that i have i'm gonna fill in my beauty mark yep perfect the mascara i'm going to be using is the lash sensational i just love the wand on this for the lashes i'm taking these ones right here that i got from ally express and i'll link these down below these are super cute and i never worn these before i love how these look and i love how wispy they are they kind of look similar to the ones that i always wear but these are more longer and the style of them is just a little bit different but i believe these will look really good with this eye look I got the lashes on and like I thought they look so good with this eye look and I did add some more blue over here since the lash was covering most of it so it looks even more better now i'm going to be taking my maybelline master precise all day liquid eyeliner i love the tip on this is very fine i'll put it over here i'm going to be taking exo planet and holidays mix them two again and just kind of mimic this part right here Now I want to open my eyes up a bit. I was planning to use black, but I noticed with black liner on my waterline, it kind of makes my eyes look too small and I really want them big for this look. So I'm just going to take my Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil and I love using this.
I'm gonna do a little trick and add some of this powder, which is moon sand underneath my eye. And it's just gonna give more of a bright under eye. Just put it only right here. Do you notice the difference? Gives like a blurred effect. I decided to put a little gem right here and it's really giving like this whole look like I'm really feeling myself I'm not gonna lie to y'all it turned out way better than what I expected and I'm gonna do this eye and I'm just using my little nail diamond studs that I use for my nails but you can also use them for makeup too I'm just gonna use my lash glue just like that okay get off get off get off okay time for the lips and i'm gonna take my laneige lip mask again and put a tad bit on because i don't want my lipstick to be looking dry because no ew I'm going to be using my LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in the shade Chocolate. I'm not sure about the lipstick I want. I kind of want to take the MAC lipstick in the shade Whirl. And you guys know this was like really popping back then. And I still have it. It still looks doesn't look that bad doesn't look expired i don't think but i also have velvet teddy but i'm kind of aiming towards velvet teddy which color do you think i should wear velvet teddy or whirl i think i'm gonna choose velvet teddy for now and kind of wipe off the brown lip liner a little bit because i don't want it too dark so I'm not adding no gloss because I always add gloss in my makeup tutorials. I want to lighten the center a little bit, so I am going to take Cairo from NYX. It's the Soft Matte Lip Cream. And just add a little bit, just a little bit. Mm-hmm, yep, that's it. The setting spray I'm using is the Urban Decay All Nighter, the classic setting spray. Take that and just... I really hope you guys enjoy this winter makeup tutorial or new year's makeup tutorial it's giving me a lot right now like honestly like for any special occasion but for this name i call it the cosmic explosion or the galaxy explosion because i use almost all the eyeshadows pretty much all the eyeshadows i'm gonna just say that and it's like an explosion on the eyes that's how I came up with the name. I rate this Robin Ensenberg palette a 10 out of 10. The colors are very different from this palette, but you can still work with them. Usually there will be a black in here or some like really dark color, but there's not. But you can still make ways of like using this palette to like do a smoky eye or a different type of smoky eye. You can do something really light with this or really not glittery, but like... You know have some shimmer in there too after just using this palette for the first time ever it's like 
okay, I'm feeling more confident that I can use this palette more often because look how this eyeshadow turned out. Like, this looks so good. Even though the colors are very beautiful, they're still very pigmented and it's definitely worth your money. And the packaging too is perfect to add in your collection because look at this. You got a sister girl right here, you got another girl right here and it's just very different. Of course, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to join the Harmony. But of course, click that bell button to receive notifications from me every time I upload, okay? So I love you guys so much and God bless you all in Jesus name and I'll see you guys in my next video.